Okay, so the next um, problem I'm going to do is this one right here. I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to first um, do it the way I usually do it, which is take this negative exponent and move it down to the denominator. And then the second way I'm going to distribute the negative 2. Okay, you're going to get the same results. But um, let's go ahead and do that. So y to the x to the second. And then we have x squared, y squared to the second now. Let's go ahead and distribute this in. Okay, so we have x squared. I'm just going to put these in alphabetic order. x to the fourth and y to the fourth. When we simplify x to the second with x to the fourth, we're going to get um, x to the second. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then 1 minus 4 is y to the third. Okay, now let's do it a different way. Let's go ahead and um, take it to the x and then x squared, y squared, negative 2. And then I'm going to distribute this negative 2 and multiply both of these. So I have a y and an x. And then I have a x to the negative 4th and y to the negative 4th. And instead of moving these, I'm just going to straight um, add them. Okay, to what I have. So I have an x to the 1 and an x to the negative 4th and a y and a y to the negative 4th. Okay, so we're doing x and then 1 plus negative 4, which is negative 3, and then a y, 1 plus minus 4, or negative 4, so that's a minus 4. Okay, so I have x to the negative 3 and y to the negative 3 which means that at both of these are going to go down, well, value, values are going to go down to the denominator. So I still get 1 over x to the third and y to the third. It doesn't matter which step you take. You should be able to get the same answer, okay? It doesn't matter which property you use first or rule you use first. You should get the same answer, okay? That was a lot of fun. Bye.